Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be all about PvP All-Stars Championship and my highlights. And without further ado, hopefully you guys will enjoy. This game. Mammal is too good. He to zero me. All right. So after Mammal swept me, like uh, I don't even know, man. I'm still looking back at it, and I'm like, how? What the fuck did I even do? Anyways. I get absolutely smacked around by Mr. Mammal, and then after that, I have to win the next two fights, else I'm basically out of the tournament already. So, uh, those fights were finally streamed on the official Old School RuneScape channel. Let's see how those fights against MMORPG went. At that point, it's the same as eating one anyway, so you may as well. And here you go, the fight now continues on. As MMORG picks up that freeze, oh, that's a 34 bolt hit through prayer, trying to DDS, but Meek on top of his prayer switches. And still using that diagonal spread to his advantage, right? As long as he keeps going diagonal across his opponent, Mika can't melee back, and that's a 35 DDS spec. Big to catch him on the hide there, off prayer two. As now both players, distance between them, they're gonna look to catch a freeze here, and then try to get under their opponent. Yeah, I remember he did a really good job then on getting damage out whenever he could. Mika's doing some really good prey switches and gear switches as well, but the damage is just coming through still, and um, yeah, it's definitely definitely helping out. Food situation, very similar at the moment. MMORPG still up on those brews. Tends to use those a little bit later in towards the fights. He obviously adopts the uh, keeping the potions for the later end, where it probably matters most for him. He just wants to focus on staying alive and, and doing what he can. You see here a nice spec from Mika at that point. He's uh, currently got his opponent frozen. MMORPG wants to go in for the freeze, but knows that every single time he does, he opens up himself up to get an attack wave with the AG, uh, sorry, the ACB or a melee hit. You got me excited there. I wish we had an AGS in one of these. <laughs> you never know what could happen with a God Sword whack. Could completely change the the outcome of a fight, but both plus one's the same here for these players. ACB on each end. I'll put in a lot of damage, you know, considering the fact that a lot of spec available for both these players. 75% on Mika, 80% on MMORPG. So you figure on, on these next kind of distance Whoa, closing no, ones, nice they're going to use that. Yeah, that's a 45 bolt spec coming off, but a 33 regular hit for Mika through prayer as well. So he's still doing damage while he's taking damage. That's important. You're going to force MMORPG to eat. And now he has eight indeed, and eight up to both of his full HP. A little bit of a hit to take him down again. Mika is going to try and get himself back into this fight because he is currently down fair little bit actually by food one or two here or there um, both players not seeing a full spec so have opted to use them MMORPG soon to have a restore spec though so probably wants to try and drift, drop one of those out very soon and you saw what Mika was doing there while he was DD'd under MMORPG he took the time to heal up right and he waited until his attacking tick was coming up that whole time MMORPG thought an attack was coming so yeah. he, he didn't tank up he, he didn't eat so Mika was able to jump ahead in the HP lead but still down on overall food i guess one angler one bruce that being the difference maker for the time being so still anybody's game but you have a hundred percent spec here for mmorpg he's gotten to start to use something 
He knows this to might get be the moment. here. It could be indeed. It looks like he's going to go for the DD. He's healed himself back up to full, opting for the tactic that Mika used against him just moments ago. Probably going to see him step out towards a diagonal very soon. And what's he going to opt for? Mika preempted that with the protect from melee, knowing that MORPG probably has his spec regenerated now. And uh, unfortunately, 0-0 zero, zero on the right prayers as well. Unfortunately, but at least you're using the specs, right? It's never a good feeling to end a fight and then you're like, oh, hey, yeah, he's a single spec. spec throughout that whole <laughs> thing. And now it's Mika's turn. He hits with his DDS, the bolt hit the follow up, and now MMORBG is left guessing. The DDS to follow up, Mage here will hit through prayer, as it's three Bruce hips left here for MMORPG and three for Mika. They're on even footing. He is doing a really good job at the moment of making sure his prayers are right whenever he can from the side of MMORPG. I actually think Mika is one step up because he has an additional angler fish. I hit him away in the corner oh, there. I didn't see that. Yeah, I mean, wonder if Mika's seen it as well. Do you reckon he's going to uh, opt to use it? At the moment, doesn't need to. His full HP. MRPG really at a disadvantage at the moment because those Bruce Sips, they're not going to heal him much each one. Their best use is combo food. That's it. He's now out of food. I wonder if MMORPG has remembered to pop back up. Now he's going to sip his super combat and range potion, but there's quite a time there where maybe he wasn't boosted over max stats. Either way, he's down on HP, down on food. Gonna need a miracle to come back and do oh! 31 17 KO there for Mika and a must okay. win match That's for good. him. He starts up 1 0 over MMORPG. Hey, An incredible spec to come out of that point. It's three Bruce Hips left here for MMORPG and three for Mika. They're on even footing. He is doing a really good job at the moment of making sure his prayers are right whenever he can from the side of MORPG. I actually think Mika is one step up because he has an additional angler fish. I hit him away in the corner Oh, there. I didn't see that. Yeah, I mean, wonder if Mika's seen it as well. Do you reckon he's going to uh, opt to use it? At the moment, he doesn't need to. His full HP. MORPG really at a disadvantage at the moment because those Bruce Sips, they're not going to heal him much each one. Their best use is combo food. That's it. He's now out of food. I wonder if MMORPG has remembered to pop back up. Now he's going to sip his super combat and range potion, but there's quite a time there where maybe he wasn't boosted over max stats. Either way, he's down on HP, down on food. He's going to need a miracle to come back and do oh! 31 17 KO there for Mika and a must win match for him. He starts up 1 0 over MMORPG. An incredible spec to come out of that point, knowing that MMORPG really had to clutch that freeze in order to keep himself in the fight. Mika took full advantage of the opportunity, countered it with that spec on the robes, on the right prayer, and well, you saw what happened. fight against Mammal there, even though he was up so many food, so much HP. Couple whip hits, DDS back, a big bolt hit, almost took him out there. But the fight about to start off as MMRPG continues his quest to take down Mika. Mika currently up 1-0 in this series. It's time for the one defense fight. Let's get it and see who manages to catch the first freeze if they both opt to do that. Instead, one of them seems to be going for a DDS straight away. MMRPG was going to use range but decided against it. Maybe wanted to spec. Ooh. Mika, really nice spec coming in from there. It's like about 46 damage in one go. Yep, about that. Is now back over to, to Mage. And you see him moving around in with the DDS again. That's a 39 spec. Just continuing to deplete the food resources that MORPG has. And this is exactly what you want to do as a pure. Take control of the fight early on. Dump those specs. Do a lot of fight. Uh, do, a, do a lot of damage. And just try to DD back under your opponent and continue to freeze them. Keep them frozen in place and don't let them spec you back. MORPG manages to get a freeze there. Doesn't deal any damage from it. But that's not so important right now. Two really nice bolt hits. A 30 followed by an 18. A melee hit. But unfortunately, Mika has protect from melee on. Whilst it only mitigates 40% of the, uh, the damage that you would normally receive. Uh, it does actually still hit quite a bit because of the fact they don't have any defensive armors. And Mika knows that these specs are coming, right? He knows that yeah. he's dumped all four, <laughs> and MMORPG hasn't used anything, but maybe MMORPG risking it a little bit here. Granted, he knows that no big DDS spec could come in. Perfect fake is from big him. Big bolt hit, 36. He's just, just waiting for that opportune moment to go for the DDS spec. And that's why he's just procking with the Leaf Blade Battle Axe for the time being. Yeah, and the, the biggest problem for Mika at this point now, knowing that MORPG has those specs and he could turn around the fight, is that he is opting to protect from melee a lot. And you can see the bolt specs that come through, if they're hitting against the wrong, like the wrong prayer, if you don't have protect from range on, they hit a lot. Yeah, and now just compare the food between both these players. Four anglers, two Bruceps versus six anglers. A full brew and an extra dose there. MMORPG dangerously low on HP and food down to three. A big Leaf Blade of Battle Axe. But this could be the moment. A chance for him to maybe get some DDS specs in. Praying melee. Here comes the bolt from Mika. And now it's just one Bruce Hip left here for MMORPG. Down, but not out just yet. Absolutely. He's definitely uh, up against a brick wall at the moment because Mika is, uh, is not falling. He has a lot of food left. He's controlled this fight entirely. Whilst he's had the full specs, MORPG hasn't really been able to use them. And now that recoil damage is just shining through against him. He's not even having to, to do anything himself. Mika is just letting that little ring deal it for him. 
Yeah, he's just going to run away. He knows the situation. He knows he's up in food. Those two DDS specs from MMORPG were just desperation throughout that whole fight. Mika did a great job of just controlling yes. the distance right. between I the two. I had to make it interesting. That's going to be a 2-0 victory Let's for go. Mika, showing and displaying his PvP skills there. He just did a fantastic job at just making sure MMORPG could not get any of those specs off. And after this roller coaster of emotions, we were um, going through our groups, and the next fight was bitter, bitter. Let's see how that went. Time to enter the second quarter or the third quarter final match. Sorry, of the old school RuneScape All Stars PvP Championship as Mika faces off against Bitter Bitter. Straight away, each player is going to be looking to try and freeze the opponent. Both opting to go for magic as their first hit. Mika manages to get the first freeze against Ditter Bitter and is opting to stand under instantly. Unfortunately, though, Ditter Bitter does get a really good time freeze against Mika, now freezing them in place side by side one another. So it does look like uh, Mika did opt to choose the ACB this time against Ditter's uh, mage you know, bonus with his Kode wand. He's again gone with that, which has worked pretty well against, uh, against his opponents so far, me included. Ditter also using the same shield switch as before. Absolutely. So he wants that offensive bonus. He wants to get the freezes. He wants to step under. That's something he does very well. Uh, also, Mika already dumping all four specs against Ditter, who has three of four already gone. They're trying to get that damage out early so they can uh, try to get ahead in this fight. Ditter's managed to pull out some serious numbers with that crossbow of his without even needing the ACB. I think actually the ACB might work out quite well for Mika, given the fact that Ditter Bear opted to go for the Crystal Shield. So it does have Heightly Sly defense against that. We said before when we saw him that, you know, the player should be trying to avoid using ranged against it because, well, it's not going to do so well. But maybe it doesn't matter when Ditter Bitter just tries to poke Mika in the eye with that wand. Oh, without a doubt. If you can get as many range hits on the ward as possible, that's going to be your best bet. The Crystal Shield designed for just negating as much range damage as possible. And look, I'm a huge fan of the Elven Weaponry. Personally, I love the Crystal Bow but none of the players are obviously going to use it in this type of scenario. An interesting setup here. Ditter opted to not go with the Dragon Defender. He's gone both the, uh, the Maldiction Switch with the Crystal Shield, so those specs aren't going to be as impressive for him, and maybe that's why he's going to sit a little bit more on Mage and, uh, and range this fight. That's a good shout as well. Obviously, with the higher tier gear, like you see in Mika's inventory, he has that option of the Dragon Defender, also with the, the Whip Hit as well, but he's got to get within melee damage, and we already talked about it, Ditter, he loves to barrage his opponents, loves to keep them frozen in place, and create some space between them, right? You see it with Bodhi's fights all the time, just like in his one defense, where he stacks the Staff of Light with the Occult Necklace, just trying to create distance, and then, you know, obviously Ditter's proficient with the switches, right? He could one-tick barrage really well, and, and that's where he tries to create advantages over his opponents. Yeah, and Deer is really doing a good job at the moment of making sure that he catches those freezes on Mika the moment that he steps out. So whilst Ditter is frozen at disadvantage, he just puts Mika back in the exact same position. And every single time it's happened to him now, he's just been able to counter it. And well, that was a great 37 by Mika there. Both of these guys are keeping their spec completely drained. They want to get all of that DPS in. And it looks pretty even so far. One uh, or three brew doses left for Ditter Bitter with two, nearly two brews for, uh, for Mika left. Both about four or five uh, anglerfish left. Pretty, uh, pretty close fight here. Haven't seen as many step unders as I would have expected, but now we're starting to see it by Mika. It's yeah. funny, it's almost like the Oh, oh wow! And the KO! The end. Off yeah. the prayer, well done. Yeah, a bit of best triple because, wow. well, I think we've said this now three times. You cannot die if you eat food. It's yeah. a good strategy. I think that's the first time I've seen <laughs> Ditter drop before he was up. You know, he hasn't died much this uh, this tournament, but that was, a, you know, an interesting KO there. Mika definitely taking the advantage on the damage done there. He's been using a Kodai for one defense, if I remember correctly, right? So the thing is, uh, I'm not sure if you've been hearing us on the desk, but um, across all builds, like, all the diaries are active. So with Kander and Hard, you get 10% bolt spec in these PvP scenarios. I, I think that's one of the reasons why we're seeing so many specs get procced. And, uh, you don't really need to bring that ACB on a one defense build because you're always doing damage. It feels like no matter what style you have out, you're always doing damage, you're always dealing one. Uh, I feel like the recoils are going to have a big impact here. Ditter, he looks like he's going to be bringing a ring switch again. I'm not sure if he has a Berserker ring equipped now or if it's just two recoils, but he also has the Sour Sword. He brought that out in the last fight too. Not only that, but you see that Ditter opted to take the Phoenix Necklace this time, which Mika does not have. He brought a uh, additional potion or what did he do? He, he brought one more switch instead actually. Yeah, yeah, he's also using the ACB for his plus one. ACB and a call against the Kodai and Sara Sword for Ditter Bitter. So that's the first time I've seen Ditter use the Sara Sword this tournament so far. Wonder if it's going to pay out for him. If you're just tuning in and you're unfamiliar with where we are at the moment, you can head over to osrsallstars.com forward slash standings to keep up with all of the recent results. This fight currently is the second fight of the quarterfinals, third match within that group. We'll be moving on to the semi-finals as soon as we've got all of these out of the way. Currently, Ditter Bitter seems to be taking the uh, the lead against Mika here, making Mika eat a lot of food very early on. 
Interesting point here. You see Ditter's already used some Cerebrews, and it looks like he did forget to use a Super Combat Pot. So we actually dumped a spec there that, that might have been a little bit less powerful than it should have been if he would have remembered to do so. Yeah, sometimes you take control of the pace early on in the fight, and you want to save, you know, all four doses, so you won't sip one Super Combat at the start of the fight because you're not, like, expecting to go with melee. So maybe it's just that situation. He caught the first freeze, saw an opportunity to go for the DDS spec, went with it, but unfortunately just forgot to pot up. And also one thing I noticed is, notice when Mika does damage, there's no recoil effect from Ditter. So he hasn't swapped over to the recoil. He's got a main ring on, and he's not really swapping between the two. He actually, I think he just put a second recoil oh, yeah. on, so he might have brought one from the previous round, but he forgot to break yeah. it, so it might have only had maybe four or six damage left on it before it broke, uh, based on his last round. That's not going to automatically reset between these. So That's it's just a misstep for him. We see that Mika's out of bruise here. Uh, he does still have one Bastion Potion, so he's going to get the uh, the, super, the uh, range pot out of that. And uh, Mika down to three Anglerfish, two now. A little bit behind in this fight, but he still does have one spec up. You could still see that out of nowhere. Yeah, he's really going to have to hope for a decent freeze, a nice step under potentially with that spec to follow up. And that hoping that Deer Bear just uses the wrong prayers, because at the moment he's now completely out of food. Deer Bear still has two Anglers. A full brew left as well, as well as a super combat potion and his Phoenix, ne Phoenix necklace. You need to see Mika get a freeze here and step under. He's out of food, he's out of uh, specs here, so he really does need to try to do something, and that's going to do it for him. Unfortunately for Mika, he falls at the second before last hurdle against Deer Vita. All right, let's talk about the two losses in the end against Ditterbitter. Mainly, if I would go into it again, I would choose different plus ones. I would prioritize getting my ma magic bonus up. Uh, obviously, some of, a lot of freezes splashed, uh, which really fucked me over. Um, if most of those freezes didn't splash, especially on those important moments when he's just running around dominating me in a the fight, then I could potentially turn the fight around. But either way, Ditterbitter is an amazing PKer. I ended up... Uh, getting out in the basically unfortunately first knockout stage. I was actually pretty confident going into it um, My original goal was to be third or about third. That was what I was planning for 
if everything went the way I planned it. Unfortunately, it didn't, and we went out in the first, um, what's it called, first knockout stage or whatever, but still, I had an absolutely amazing time there, I met like so many cool people, um, honestly, everyone I met was just an awesome person, I could probably talk hours of how awesome the people I met were, uh, but that would be a little bit of a long video, let's put it that way, by the way, I'm extremely sick, as you can probably tell. So I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a lot of fights, a lot of things you can re-watch and uh, take some notes if you wanna improve as a PKer yourself. I might come up with a guide, um, just basic guide for PKing, uh, NH PKing that is, um, and definitely a lot of uploads coming uh, shortly, um, especially because of Deadman mode. But yeah, uh, either way, thank you very much guys for all the support. Um, and for all the kind comments, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, with another video. And until then, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.